Today we are helping out Chase make a little cross member out of wood for his VW bug that he's selling. So it's a little bit easier when someone comes to buy, it's a little bit more presentable. Weird, I know, but that's what we're working on today. There's a snake hole. Oh, I hate snakes. So this is what he's got. Uh, it's for sale on Craigslist. It's a project he's not gonna do anymore, uh, but the wheels are not connected without the body. So we're just gonna make a frame that connects these two so that when the guy comes to pick it up, he can just pull it on the trailer and not need a forklift or something to get it. These went to the side of the car. Okay. And then these went to the top. So we need one piece across the top, and then one piece. How do these connect? Oh, these need lifted up. Yeah. Okay, so this was the hardest part here, was getting something on the frame that was solid. So luckily we got that. Now we're going to strap the steering arms to this piece of wood, which is now secured to the, to the frame. And then we've got this piece. It's gonna go up on top of the shocks or the struts. And then hopefully we can tie it all together so that it's nice and solid. That'll do. Okay. We used an inch and a half Forstner bit to drill a small hole for the top of the strut to fit into and then used more of the plumber's tape to attach it to the board. We skipped a few steps, but there it is. It's not the most functional in the world, but it is sitting on its own. There's nothing holding up the front end there. Put two uprights connected to the cross member that's connecting the struts and then strapped it to the front. So it's got three points of contact with the frame. I think it'll tow maybe a few feet, at least up onto a trailer. So the purpose of spending all that time making that was to make it look more presentable for a first impression and Success! Sold! Done. Very cool. I'm very happy for you. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get working on the whiskey chiller again, believe it or not, and uh, Ben is here to help me with the Arduino stuff. I want to have a keypad where you enter a code and then choose either whiskey A or whiskey B. Uh, we have two different valves, and I have no idea how to Arduino, but, <laughs> but Ben does. <laughs> Well, Ben is more equipped in his own shop to do electronics, so we are yep. over at his house, and we have a few parts that I was missing. We don't have time for a whole shop tour, but what's your favorite part? If you could show anything to YouTube, what would it be? Um, it would probably be my radio test equipment over here. Um, this is a 30-amp uh, power supply, along with a 707 spectrum analyzer, and this is a radar test set, along with a frequency counter, that hasn't been installed yet. Very cool.